Hey, welcome back everybody patrick here and moving on to another question we have a limit this one's pretty tricky we haven't seen one like this before so we got the limit as x approaches zero of three over the square root of x plus nine minus one all over x first thing you want to check with limits can you make a direct substitution well if we plug in zero for x notice that the denominator is going to be zero so that unfortunately is not going to work and notice that we can't cancel anything out. We can't really factor this up here. So we're going to have to use some kind of other method. And notice that here we got a square root we're dealing with. And whenever we've been dealing with square roots before, usually we've been rationalizing. It's been in a different format. But nevertheless, there's still that square root. There's still that radical. So same thing here. We got to rationalize this function. And the way we're going to rationalize it is we would multiply it by the conjugate of the numerator. So it's going to be the th uh, 3 over the square root of x plus 9. And then we're going to be adding 1. And then what we do to the numerator, we also got to do to the denominator. All right, so a bit of a different format. But still, with this square root here, if you want to get rid of it, you have to rationalize it. Since this is a two-term radical, we got to multiply it by the conjugate in both the numerator and the denominator. So if we take both of these numerators and multiply them by each other, notice that they're going to be a difference of squares, so that middle term is going to cancel out. So all we have to do is multiply those endpoints by each other. So 3 over the square root of x plus 9 times 3 over the square root of x plus 9. We multiply the numerator and the denominator. 3 times 3 is 9. And then the square root of x plus 9 times the square root of x plus 9, that just gives us x plus 9. And then minus 1 times positive 1, that just gives us minus 1. So notice that we change the numerator into this. And then the denominator, let's keep these two terms separately. So we'll have x times 3 over the square root of x plus 9 plus 1. So now what we can do is we can try to get this uh, numerator as one fraction. We can combine these terms. And the way we do that is we get a common denominator. So notice that this 1 here is like over 1. So to subtract with this fraction, the denominator is x plus 9. So we've got to multiply this 1 by x plus 9. What we do to the bottom, we do to the top as well. So up top here, we'll basically end up with 9 minus, in brackets, x plus 9. Remember to put this in brackets here because you're subtracting that whole term. And then this is going to be all over x plus 9. And then that uh, denominator is still going to be the same. We're going to have x here. And then we'll have 3 over the square root of x plus 9 plus 1. So then continuing this up here, 9 minus x minus 9. Notice that the 9s will cancel out. So we'll be left here with the limit as x approaches 0 the um, numerator will just be negative x, right? When we distribute that negative inside the bracket, nines cancel out. That's going to be all over x plus 9. And then we're still going to be dividing by this whole term here. Now, this whole term is like over 1. So it's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal of this term. So instead of dividing it, by this whole term, let's multiply it by 1 over all of this here. So x uh, times 3 over the square root of x plus 9 plus 1. All right, so I just took this whole term over 1. Since we're dividing it by this fraction, it's like multiplying it by the reciprocal. And now notice how these x's will cancel out. So we'll be left with the limit as x approaches 0 of uh, negative 1 all over this term x plus 9 times this term here, the square root, our uh, 
rather 3 over the square root of x plus 9 plus 1. And notice that since these x's cancelled out now, we can plug in 0 for x and the denominator won't be 0 anymore. So if we do that, we'll end up with negative 1 over this bracket will be 9. And then if we plug in 0 for x in this term, 0 plus 9 is 9 squared and 9 is 3. 3 over 3 is 1, plus 1 gives us 2. And so we're just left with negative 1 over 18. And that there is our final answer to this limit. So a pretty tricky question, a little bit unique, uh, a little bit different than the ones we did before when we were rationalizing because this square root here was in a denominator and we were dealing with like a fraction in a fraction but it's not too bad. You just have to take this two-term radical, multiply it by its conjugate, and then that x will cancel out. And then finally, you could plug in 0 for x, and you end up getting negative 1 over 18.